The mastermind behind Ecomob Just Stop Oil was nicked last night after the Sun blew the whistle on their plot to block the motorway network. Roger Hallam, 56, was being questioned after we told police his group were planning to scale motorway gantries on the M25 today and bring traffic to a standstill. Two more activists were also arrested last night. And in another victory for the people by the sun. National Highways yesterday secured a high court injunction to prevent protesters disrupting the road. Hallam's arrest came after we infiltrated a meeting on Wednesday and passed on recordings to police of the hardline green campaigners plot. We were then invited to join the Met's territorial support group. As officers smashed through Hallam's front door at his flat in Kennington, South London. He was not at home but bags of evidence, including a laptop, were removed. The Met Police later confirmed a 56-year-old man had been arrested on suspicion of conspiracy to commit public nuisance. Hallam was still in custody last night, Assistant Commissioner Matt Twist said. Our investigation has reason to suspect the Just Stop Oil Group intend to disrupt major motorway networks, which would risk serious harm to the public, with reckless action to obstruct the public on a large scale. He said it is possible more are still intent on causing unlawful disruption today and urged the public to remain vigilant. On Wednesday, The Sun listened as activists unveiled plans to stop cars flowing on the M25, used by 200,000 motorists every day. The eco-zealots vowed daily action until Christmas by dangling over gantries. They could have cost billions to Britain's already battered economy. One member boasted, it is almost impossible to stop. We will not back down. Organic Farmer Hallam, the co-founder of another green mob, Extinction Rebellion, vowed, this is not just another action, it's potentially the most significant act of civil disobedience in decades. If it goes on for two days, fine. If it's three or four it is the biggest disruption in British history boasting to fellow members of his credentials when it comes to bringing Britain to a halt, he laughed, I have a bit of a knack. We need to get onto the gantries, there's thousands of them. We have prototyped this. If we engage in such massive economic disruption, the government can't ignore us. We need to step up, we aren't here for pats on the back. He went on to say ex-Prime Minister Tony Blair's most terrifying moment of his premiership was not the Iraq war but when people close the motorways over fuel prices. A female ringleader, who said her name was Lucia, gave more details of the gantry occupation. She said, there's hundreds and hundreds. It's impossible to police. It's going to be enormous. But their plans were scuppered when National Highways won a high court injunction acting on the Sun's information. It means anyone on the motorway to fix themselves to any object or structure on it. And anyone who helps them can be held in contempt of court. They face jail, an unlimited fine and seizure at their assets. Transport Secretary Mark Harper said he instructed National Highways to tackle a reckless minority of protesters. The roads agency said it will do whatever it can to deter unlawful protest activity and punish all of those who breach the injunction orders.